All right, so in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how I create a main menu using both Unity's Unity Elements and also Game Creator's Actions and trigger, Triggers. All right, so let's go ahead and quickly put together a, a main menu. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go head over to the hierarchy. I'm gonna go over to UI and then I'm gonna go down to Canvas. All right, I'm gonna click on Canvas. I'm gonna go over to the right here and click on Scale with Screen Size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 1080, 1920 by 1080. All right, great, perfect. Next, I'm going to right click on the Canvas and I'm gonna go down to UI and then I'm going to click on Panel. Okay, all right. So the first panel that we wanna create is gonna be called the main menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename that. All right, all right. And what we wanna do is find our panel. So there's our panel. If you double click on your, in your hierarchy on the object, it's gonna take you directly to that. What I'm gonna next do is click on this here and that's gonna put me in this view, all right. And we should be uh, looking at this. And if you want to get these little uh, blue dots here, you want to go ahead and click on the rec tool. And that'll give you the ability to select items and objects within this uh, within this space. All right, cool. Perfect. All right, let's keep moving. So the next thing we want to do is probably get like a title header or a header title. So the goal here is I'm going to create a title header a sub header and set of buttons and maybe a another panel for some additional information. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna to go to panel, right click, I'm gonna to go to UI and then I'm going to create another panel. I'm gonna call this panel header. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this particular one and I'm going to bring it down a little bit. All right, and now I'm gonna take this panel and align it within this panel from the top. So instead of being stretched, I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna hit center. So it's in the middle center. Actually, I'm gonna do it from the top, from the top center. Okay. Perfect. All right, so within this header, I wanna right click and I'm going to go down to UI and I'm gonna select Text Text Mesh Pro. Now, if you don't already have Text Mesh Pro installed, it should give you a some type of notification to install it. So just go ahead and get that done. All right, next, Text Mesh Pro on the right side is gonna give you a few options here and you're gonna have a component that gives you the ability to change the actual text of that object and you can actually mess with the different fonts and information. We're not gonna go into all of these particular details but just gonna keep it really simple. So I'm gonna name this header title and actually I'll make it all uppercase. So header title and I'm going to change the size here to like 72 and now I'm going to center it perfect and and then I'm going to click on this and do it from the top of that perfect actually no what I'll do is center it within this particular panel because what we're going to do is do a sub a subtitle and we're going to make sure that we also have, uh, we're going to do a subheader for our, its own panel. So our subheader is going to have its own panel. So what I'm going to do is actually copy and paste this and bring it down. And I'm just going to rename this subheader. All right, and we're gonna go to this text and type in sub header text. All 
All right, and we're gonna make that smaller so we can do something like 45 maybe. And we can actually make this one a little larger and go with maybe like a 92. And we'll make that a little smaller and bring it down a little bit. All right, perfect. So now we have a header title and we have a subheader. All right, and we have a panel for both of those. All right, nice. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is do another panel. I'm gonna right click UI and head down to panel. Now this panel, I'm gonna bring this in. It's gonna be where our buttons are, okay? All right, so what I'm going to first do is go ahead and center this. And I just wanna change the size of this. Great, perfect. And you can bring it down a little bit. All right, so on this panel, we're gonna go ahead and just rename this buttons. All right, nice. All right, so within this panel, we're gonna right click and we're gonna to go to UI and then we're gonna to go to buttons, text mesh pro. All right, and then I'm just gonna get the button the size that I need it to be. All right, perfect. And then what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this button. I'm gonna go copy, paste, copy, paste. All right, now what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and click on panel buttons and I'm gonna go add a component and we're gonna do a group. So it's gonna be a group and it's gonna be a vertical layout group. And what this is gonna do is take anything that's a child of this panel with that particular component, it's gonna take it and it's gonna obviously, you can see that it's created a vertical group here. All right, so we're gonna go back to the panel buttons and I'm gonna select middle center and so now our buttons are gonna be centered within this space, okay? Not looking too bad, all right? So next thing we wanna do is name our buttons. So within these buttons, if you click on this little arrow, it's gonna have a text field, and we're just gonna name this one New Game. The next one we're gonna name it Load Game. Or we can just use the word Load. And then this one we're gonna do settings and chances are you might want a quit button so i'm just going to actually go ahead and add a new button so i'm going to do a copy paste and it adds it within that space so i'm just going to go ahead and change this one from settings to quit and i also want to name the buttons as well so i'm going to click on this button and I'm just gonna call it new game dash button and we're just gonna continue through load and I'm just gonna actually name it load game button and as you might have guessed settings button and the last one will be quit This one is a little longer, and I'm gonna get rid of this at the end. All right, great, perfect. Not too bad, so we have a header, we have a subheader text, and we have a new game button, load, settings, and quit. All right. All right, so next panel that we wanna create is more of an extra panel. Um, and you can put anything in this panel. You can put your copyright, you can put your game company name, your whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go main menu. I'm gonna right click, go down to panel. And then I'm just gonna simply call this bottom bar. And I'm gonna take this, bring it down like so. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna actually affix it to the bottom. So we're gonna click that button there so it's anchored from the bottom. Okay, perfect. 
Now within here, we can put whatever we want. Um, let's see, we're gonna go to go to the UI, we can go to Text Mesh Pro, and I'm going to left leave this left aligned. And you can put whatever text in here you want. So you can put copyright if you so desire. And you can go so far to put your company name. All right, cool. And I'll probably make that a little smaller. And we'll go ahead and do that. Nice. All right. And so the next thing I want to do is change a couple of things here. So let's see. In your main camera, um, as you notice, mine is kind of darkened here. So if you want to change yours to look like that in your camera preview, you want to change this from Skybox to solid and then you can change it to whatever color you like. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually change the color of my different panel backgrounds. So the first one I'm gonna do is the main menu and I'm gonna change this one to a dark color. So it's gonna be black and I'm just gonna make it really solid, like so. Not completely solid, but actually I will. I'll make this completely solid. Now, as you can see, we have our header, we have our subheader buttons and a bottom bar. That's gonna give us pretty much everything we need to get going with our menu. Now, there is one simple thing I wanna do here. So, for instance, you have your main menu. If you hit play button, it shows up right in your scene and that's great, you can see it, right? So I'm gonna hit the play button again. Now I'm gonna move my main menu. And I'm gonna hit the play button. But it's gone. So what I would like to do is actually when I hit the play button, it puts my main menu right where I want it. And there's gonna be a reason for this um, and I'll show you here soon. But the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna use uh, game creators, triggers and actions, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is go to my main menu. I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna to head to game creator trigger, okay? And then I'm gonna go trigger, and I'm gonna to go to the right here. You wanna make sure your trigger is um, set to on start. And then we're gonna click this button here where it says create an action slot, okay? And so the way this happens is, it takes this, this triggers when the game starts or when the scene starts, and then it's going to play this action. And if I double click on this, it's gonna take us to this particular pre, um, object. And this object has a component that allows you to play actions from top to bottom, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is click this button action. Now there's gonna be a host of different things here you can select and um, we're not going to get into obviously everything here, um, but what I will show you now is the object. So we're going to click on object and we're going to scroll down till you get to transform. Now, this doesn't have a player, but what we want to do is we want to change the transform properties of this panel main menu and we want to change its position when the trigger starts at the beginning of the scene, okay? So we wanna change the target from player to game object. We wanna go over to our hierarchy and we wanna click and drag the main menu panel here. And we want to leave this as don't change. We wanna change, we wanna click on change position. We wanna set this to local and we wanna leave the position at zero X, Y, and Z. Okay, all right, perfect. And so we're gonna leave that just like that. And so now we have a trigger that's gonna start, it's gonna play these actions, and it's gonna play this particular action at the beginning of the scene. All right, so now when we play the scene, we should have our main menu pop right into this place as soon as it starts. Perfect, and that's exactly what we want. All right. And so it looks like everything is good here. As you can see, when I click on these particular buttons, they're 
uh, showing that I am actually clicking on them and that's due to the buttons having its own uh, component script or button component script and we'll play with these things later okay so in the next video we're gonna start building out the rest of the scenes and the reason that we did the trigger actions is so that it'll be easier for us to get going so the next time we go to our canvas and we right click and we hit UI panel you see our panel starts here so instead of us working on this menu here we can leave this out of sight and we can actually work on this here and it'll all make sense as we move forward all right so i'll see you guys in the next video